I'm Larry Kobos. Uh, I know that this is an unorthodox way of doing a public records request to Suwani. I'm sure you've never received anything like this. That's all right. Um, I wanted to express some of the things I've wanted to say to this institution for a while. So let us begin with prayer, if we may, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Father in heaven above, grant the Spirit to speak the truth out of these mouths, and grant the ears that hear this truth, hear it and receive it. We ask these things in your name, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives with and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Okay. Um, this institution knows the inmate in which I'm talking about, so I'm not going to say it. Um, I, I am going to be broadcasting this on YouTube, Facebook, and all that. So it will be made available to the public. However, this is what I wanted to personally say to this institution, Suwani. Um, scripture tells us, he who delights in the word of the Lord will be blessed in all his ways. So I, I'm hoping that despite my frustrations, despite some of the misunderstandings we've had with one another, we nonetheless understand and come to an agreement and we don't try to get under each other's skin. We don't try to one-up one another. We don't try to get angry with one another. That's not why I'm here for. That's not what I'm planning on doing. Um, so you know the inmate. You know the point of contention. There was allegations against him while he was still an inmate there. I did write this letter in December of 2013. I have confirmation from the inmate himself that he did receive that letter and that he was called to your property office. Um, you've denied that. I don't believe that, but that's neither here nor there. Um, you did receive that letter, a second copy of it, when I made my initial rounds of public records request in December of, or excuse me, I sent the letter in December 2013. You received that letter then, but you deny that, but you do acknowledge you received the letter in July of 2014. Okay. And then you know that this made a little sideshow and it got ridiculous and yes I was able to get in contact with other inmates I found out some of their problems they were having um, you know some of them did get transferred out my understanding I haven't had any contact with them in about a year or so at the very least um, you know and, and I want someone to understand I'm not here to meddle with your affairs I'm not here to get involved in the internal workings of your prison that's not my job you're the ones trained to do that. I'm not. So please never have the impression that I was trying to get involved in things that didn't concern me. Um, as a civilian, um, and this inmate was my friend. We're, we're talking about the original inmate that started this. Um, from here on out, more likely than not. I'll, I'll tell you if not, but I believe so. Um, but what had happened is he did inform me in some of the letters he wrote me. He was having problems receiving or having his stuff stolen from him. Do I regret the tone of the letter? Absolutely, I do. I don't ever want you to think that that letter was threatening or harassing. It was not my intention. I don't believe it was. If there was anything in there that you thought was inappropriate, tell me. I, I don't get offended easily. I get offended when there's moral outrage and there's wrongdoing and people don't want to do anything about it. That's where my anger lies. You know, it wasn't about... When did you get this letter exactly? And did you this or that or you, no? That's not why I'm here, and, and I want you to understand this. Um, so, an investigation should have been launched. If not in December, then it should have been launched in July of 2014. My understanding from what I've received to you is that's not been the case. Um, why? That's my question to this institution, why? Um, I, I don't want to question motives. I don't want to get involved in every little whatnots and, you know, but at the very least, I do have the right to know why. This was a legitimate, fair complaint. And again, if there was anything that I said personally that was inappropriate or over the line, take me out of this. It said nothing to do with me. This had to do with the fact that an inmate was being stolen from. You know, so that's more of what I wanted to say on to this institution. Um, I hope that an, insti uh, an investigation was launched. 
That's my hope. That's my prayer. That's my thought. I can't punish or discipline employees. It was never my idea. I don't want anyone prosecuted. You know, that's, again, that's up to your state attorney. I believe you're in the Third Circuit Court. That's up to them. That has nothing to do with me. You know, the, the problem was is that you knew something was going on. You know, we can debate the date. And again, I don't want to go there anymore, you know. But we know that there was a problem. So, you know, let's try to fix this problem here, you know. I, I, that's the only thing I'm asking of this institution, you know. What happened as a result of the complaint I made? We'll say J J uh, July 2014, fine. I have proof that you got that letter then. Okay, so what happened then? Again, I'm trying to be patient here. I have scripture. Um, well, I had it set to Ecclesiastes, and I had a really good verse to tell you. Here we go. Ecclesiastes chapter 1, uh, verses 12. So I, considered, so I turned to consider wisdom and madness and folly. For what can the one do who comes after the king? Only what has already been done. Then I saw wisdom excels the folly as light excels the darkness here. You know... Let's put our petty differences aside. Let's try to get together, find out what really happened. Again, I'm not looking to tread on toes. I'm not looking to get anyone in trouble. Just tell me, please, what happened as a result of my letter. If you didn't want to launch an investigation, my understanding from what I've read in the rules, I believe you're bound under FAC 33, and again, there's dozens of subsections in there, but... Um, under Section 33 of FAC, the Florida Administrative Code, which binds your prison, um, there's not a whole lot in there on civilian complaints, but there's complaints made by inmates. And I know you have so many days to investigate, and then there's appeal dates and, you know, whatnot. You know, let's not... You know, let, let's pretend that this is July, then, of 2014. And let's just, you know, scrap all the nonsense and the foolishness and the one-upping and who did what and who went where and who said what to who and why and your little legalese um, and then my little probably very annoying behavior. I understand that. I, I annoy myself. No, come on. You know, here's the thing. You don't always have to put up with me. I always have to do it myself. I can't get away from me. Okay? So, you know... <laughs> Again, like I said, I'm, I'm here to speak in peace, not in anger. The civilian side of me, the human side, as Luther says, the civilian side of you, um, certainly always gets a hold of you. We're sinner and saint at the same time. So let's, uh, please, just uh, let's, let's start. Let's tell me what happened, you know. Maybe it was just a Q-tip that was missing from his property. Okay, I can be fine with that. Well... No, nobody should be afraid of that. You know, when their belongings are locked up, they do have the right to what property they have. Um, but let's, you know, come on now. Let's take better care of inmates' property, and let's not be so offended when somebody tries to say, there might be a problem here. That's all I'm asking. Um, same thing, I always close the letters when I wrote to him um, when he was still incarcerated here. Um, I would always close the letters with this uh, um, thing we always do in church. Um, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and grant you his peace. Amen. Thank you for your time. Let's just, you know, find out what's really going on. And I'm cooperating any way I can. And we'll leave it at that. I thank you for your time. And I want this time an answer. You know, even if I don't like the answer, I still want to know what it is. Thank you. Goodbye.